it says usually you can pull and drive anywhere in this area of the boat ramps currently underwater that's out in that area over there well after all the rain and snow melt it's definitely lifted the water levels of the lake up you can see a little bit of garbage out there floating on the surface garbage tree limbs logs okay so we're gonna take a short little break get our equipment out get over here on the dock get it ready and be back in just a moment all right i'm not sure how well this mic is gonna work i figured i'd give it a try since it's so windy today Talking to a gentleman right then while I was getting stuff set up. <laughs> Went ahead, like I said, I forgot my fishing pole today, but I just took uh, one of the ropes I got off my fishing magnets, decided to tie it onto it. <laughs> Sucky part about not having a uh, fishing pole to hold this out with, I ain't gonna be able to get out there. Which I don't think I was out there too far. But in my last video, the camera stand was on this side. I started about right here. And when we started seeing stuff on the footage, I had the fishing pole about right over here on this side. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the GoPro first. Going to uh, you know, drop it along the front here, back and forth, see what else we can see. And then I went ahead and tied off my fishing magnet. It's on a uh, 50 foot rope, I believe it is. We're going to throw it out there a couple times, maybe walk it around the dock. Uh, we'll check the footage on the GoPro here shortly to see if we can locate where that bone was. And. Like I said, I brought my grappling hook. We'll lower it down, see if we can't somehow hook onto it and get it up out of the water. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's see. Got the battery in, clean the lens on it. Get it turned on. Now, yeah. yeah, just before we do all that, I need to go ahead and pull out some some more uh oh we hung up I'm not sure if this microphone helps cut out some of the wind or if it picks up more of it. We'll find out here in just a minute. But I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. <laughs> Make sure the mic's still rolling. I can see the green light. <laughs> All right, wind picked up a little bit. Push my phone stand over. I'm pretty sure I've got everything ready to roll now. I've got the mic going. I've got my camera tied on. Get it turned on. Flip our settings around. Let's see. Hit the wrong button. Wind's picking up. I'm looking for my phone to fall over at any second. 
Yep, there it goes. <laughs> I caught it that time. <laughs> All right. Delete. Got to keep an eye on that. Don't want that phone to end up in the water. <laughs> Okay. Now we got it going. Hit the play button. Make sure it's rolling. Uh, we're gonna start about right here, and like I said, we'll slowly make our way down. Let that go to its bottom. And we're at bottom. Alright. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. I'm going to tie it off right here for a minute and let it sit about right on bottom. Kind of hard to tell where bottom's at when I don't have my fishing pole because I can, you know, kind of, you can feel it in your hands. With that, the way the water soaks into the rope, kind of hard to tell. But, while we let that sit a few minutes, we're going to take this magnet, kind of bounce it around, pull it back up. Before I get started with that, Put my gloves on. It's not going to keep my hands from getting cold and wet, but it'll help protect my hands a little bit from whatever's on the other end of this magnet. Like I said, first thing I'm going to do is just drop it right in front of the dock. See if anybody's dropped anything worth getting right here. 
I know I have. <laughs> I dropped a pair of sunglasses. Woohoo! Got it again. Let me try to turn this one around just a little bit. Maybe, maybe that'll help it. <laughs> Still gotta keep an eye on the camera, especially when the wind picks up. All right, get a few more bounces. Got a bobby pin. Brought me a bucket because I ain't leaving. I'm not gonna be that guy that leaves garbage laying around. Got an old rusty hook and Bud Light cap. Now I know I seen the top of a pole fishing rod in that last video so maybe we can bounce this thing around until we find that top of that fishing rod take the magnet over here in front of the camera see how well maybe it's safer too high or too low See my camera line move and make sure I didn't grab the camera. I think it's just a bunch of iron in the mud. Well, just a bunch of mud so far. Gonna give this one a little toss out there and drag it back in. Almost ran out of rope. Just gonna slowly pull it. Make sure it sticks to the bottom. Picking up anything. First time I ever come out here magnet fishing. I don't even know how many years ago. I spent a lot of time walking around the dock. You know, all up and down one side and then the other. You wouldn't believe how many beer bottle caps, hooks, sinkers, uh, other little baits, corn cans. Mm.
Ah. Uh. Got the nut. I don't know if I just sunk in the mud that good or... That there's actually something good down there. That's feeling weird. Hmm. It's not feeling heavy now. It felt heavy a second ago like something extra was on it. Try that again. Gonna walk around this way again. Get back in just a moment. up here behind the camera. And fishing line sinker bread tie hmm. how about that let's give the toss this direction but my hands will be a little bit colder than what they are People are really getting on my nerves. Leaving fishing line laying around. Didn't actually catch this one on the magnet. This one just got hung up around my rope. Out the around my camera stand. Bunch of grass. As you can see, another sinker, another hook. I don't know why people think it's so blessed hard. 
to pick up your garbage. <laughs> Gotta remind me of Chris Farley. I am a motivational speaker. <laughs> All right, let's give it another good throw in. Make sure it's away from the camera stand. <laughs> My horse says hat bottom. Those guys on them other YouTube videos, TikToks and whatnot, that seems like they catch a gun or something every time they cast out a magnet. Those dudes must live near some pretty bad areas. I mean, this county's had its fair share of pretty bad stories too, but. I'm really surprised we ain't pulled up a knife or something out of this lake. Wouldn't surprise me to pull up a dirty needle. Find plenty of them about anywhere you go. Sad to say, but it's true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Caught most of the garbage. First thing I ever caught magnet fishing was a big old piece of rebar. Used to be a picnic table would sit over there by the boat ramp before some idiots decided to tear it up. I think they burned it. Used to be picnic tables placed in different areas all the way around this lake. People just think it's funny to tear them up. Big old piece of mud. You can see what's left of one. Over there in that corner, used to sit on top of the hill. Go have a picnic on top of the dam. Nah. First take carve on it with a knife, they draw on it, all that good stuff, and then for whatever reason, they're like, hey, guess what, I'm going to flip it down the hill. When the water's low, you can see it, but as of right now, you can only see probably about that much of each leg sticking up out of the water in that back corner. I'll see if I can't. Let's see what the camera ran Don't mind the uh, stand right quick. There you are. See the four legs sticking out of the water over there. Yep. It's like that with the other picnic tables too. You can take a boat around the lake or you can walk the trail. And you'll see, you'll see other picnic tables that's either been flipped up or just took apart. Like I said, I think this one over here, I think they just 
ripped it somebody ripped it apart one night and burned it because there's always a little fire area right over there where you can see people build fires all the time and they'll use all kinds of for the fire fuel and they'll use wood they'll use garbage and then just leave it lying around you jerks <laughs> it's awful light. Hope I didn't lose my magnet. I shouldn't have. I put Loctite on that carabiner. Drag it back this way. More hooks. That one's got a clip swivel stuck to the end of it. All right, enough of me jibber jabbering a little bit. We'll give my hands time to warm up. We're gonna take this GoPro footage, or GoPro, walk back over to the car and Take it in the computer and see what we can uh, see what we can see, I reckon. It's been recording for twenty two minutes and thirty seconds. I'm gonna stop it. Turn it off. Shake the excess, excess water off of it. Don't feel like carrying untying it again, so we'll just pop the camera out. Now take our phone. Go ahead and lay this camera stand down a minute. Don't want the wind blowing it over. Oh, my bad. Walk back to the car and see what we can see. Got our laptop and GoPro. Yes, that's a crown roll bag. I keep all my little stuff on my GoPro in it, extra cords and whatnot. But uh get stand set up here. Get her on. Get my card adapter out. Take the card out of the GoPro. Set that to the side. everything will work out. Let's see, we need to turn the brightness up so we can see. Oh, that's how it goes. Okay. Now, get the card in. And I think it's on a 10 minute loop. It'll take a 10 minute video before it loops over and starts a new one. So it should be, yeah, 
three videos, two 10 minute, because it was a 22 and a half minute video. So we got two 10 minute videos and then two and a half minute video. Uh, we'll check this one. Yep, there we go. Ooh, it's gonna be hard to see. Yeah, bring the screen down a little bit. Murky, murky waters. Sunshine good, but unfortunately, looks like I'm not gonna be able to see much because the water is so murky. Yeah. I, I can't see anything. Okay, well, it was close to where the bone was because what little bit I can see, I see the white part of that fishing rod. But until I can get to the house... That's all, that's all I'm able to see, it's just too bright out here. Okay, so, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. We're gonna take our card up, put it back, back in the GoPro, and we'll go back over here and just for the fun of it, we'll go ahead and do some more GoPro videos down in the water. And we'll continue to magnet fish for a little bit. See if we can pull anything else interesting up out of the water or just more garbage. <laughs> uh, we'll also try doing the grappling hook since about where I first put the camera on, we know the top of that fishing pole there, so that bone has to be there close somewhere. So we'll use the grappling hook and go uh, bounce around, see if we can snag the bone and pull it up. Uh, let me turn this back on, get it back in the vehicle. <laughs> Head back over onto the dock. What in the world is that? Oh, clovers down around the water. Look at that fishing line, fishing line. Whoop, whoop. Losing my phone there for a second. Fishing line laying everywhere. They were out, mate. There we go. Now we're back. Get our GoPro back in the case. Lock it up. Before we lower that back down in the water, because I don't want to, you know, rest my magnet hooking onto it. We're just gonna lay that down a minute and drop the magnet around here.
fix my camera real quick. Get it back over this direction. Ah. <laughs> Got to put my gloves back on. <sighs> Look at that. Stupid fishing line. If you're the one leaving all this fishing line out here and you see this video, I'll let you know right now. Your mom's a hoe. And she didn't teach you any better about picking up after yourself. Okay. Nada. Figured I'd pick up a little bit more if I drop it on one end of the dock and then drag it down to the other end so it's actually dragging across the bottom and me not having to bounce it. We snagged on something down there for just a moment. Oh, uh, golly gee, what do you know? But you can't guess what's on this one. It's like a dirty leaf. Top of a can of corn. Rusty old hook and fishing line. Rusty old jig head. Alright. Before we go back to catching more fishing line. Oh, you dirty dog. I'm going to pull out the old treble hook and test it out. A lot of do, a lot of do, a lot of do. Finally. It's a bit windy out here. Nothing. Put that drop there. Bring it this way. It's only kind of hard bringing, trying to get that if I ain't got no actual, you know, way of knowing exactly where it's at and seeing how close we're getting the hook to it. I need to look into getting one of those live feed cameras so we can stand here together and drop it down, look around, you know, instead of doing the whole drop it down 
have to wait a little bit and put it on the computer. Oh, water come back to smack me right in the eyeball. Huh? Huh? Got tension on the line. Well, we did. Try that again. Yeah, I'll blow it. Blow all the way in the house. Ah, well, got caught on the dock and then got hit in the eye again. It'll be all right. I just know if that camera goes down this time, I ain't gonna make it in time to catch it. Try this again. Stay down low. Pull it slow. Right there is something. It's got the tension good on that hook. I can't tell if my ropes are slowly stretching or it's slowly trying to get away. Litter sink, litter sink. Whoa. Nope, I think we missed it. Maybe not. So we've got it again, whatever it is. Somebody's coming up the hill. Feels like we're slipping. We'll keep tension on that in just a minute. Enter way over here. 
I don't think whatever it is is magnetic, meaning it's made of metal. But we will try. We got the magnet on Ted's rope. We're still hooked. Still got the rope. Okay. So whatever it is, right there. Whatever that is, is also coming down here. Howdy! I think I pulled my hook loose. Yep. Yep, I pulled the hook loose because I see my line go down. A little bit of everything. I got a magnet over there that I magnet fish with. I got this grappling hook here. Well, a bunch of hooks and sinkers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I come up here quite a bit and uh, take my GoPro, lower it down in the water just to see what I can see sitting on the bottom. And the other day, Seen some trout sitting on or swimming through the bottom. Seen the top of a fishing rod, a few beer bottles, and a bone up of something. That's, I tried dropping the GoPro down earlier and I went over and checked the footage on my computer, but water somewhere here you can't. Yeah. I've been fishing down in Jacksonville. It's low down there. This year now it's up. This is probably four or five feet. Oh yeah, yeah. I wasn't like it a few days ago. I know there's a rod down there. I've seen, I've seen the guy. He got grappling hook, fish, 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 everything. My daddy's name one time got his eel and his little tongue in there. They lost one, and the guy had them stringers that had the hooks on it. Yeah. Open that thing up and throw it as far as you throw it. And and it was a drum or something. I pulled a lawnmower blade out over. I threw it out by the boat ramp. Hey, something big over by that boat ramp because uh, last time I was up there making the fishing when the water was down, I kept getting hung on to something good, but it was just too big to pull out of the water. I know there's some big fish out there. Was out there last year on my boat trying out my. Death finder and fish finder right out here in the open in between about 25 foot down and 30 foot down. He was just fish everywhere. And then there was about four of them fish icons pop up that was about that big. Uh, and they something big down there. Had <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, I've seen where a lot of people have been burning crappie up right now. That one's, that one's a third generation. I've had that one a while. They've got, well, there's another piece of broken hook. First time I ever come out here magnet fishing, I just, I spent probably about an hour out here just bouncing it all the way around the dock. 
I caught an ungodly amount of fishing hooks, sinkers, uh, cans of corn, beer bottle caps. Is it heavy enough to feel like you get something down there? Can you feel it like oh, a yeah. can or something? You'll definitely know if it's got a little weight to it most time, like if it's just the hooks and stuff. I know on YouTube they got those guys that does that for having bridges. They'll find guns and everything else and then they'll freak out. You know, and I'm going to have to make sure they can tell you what they need done. Yeah. They always like, they always say they got to call the cops to make sure it's not connected to a murder or nothing. But I mean, if it's been in the ground that long, you're not going to pull no fingerprints nor number off of it. <laughs> Oh yeah. There's a screw, some some kind of string. Yeah, I ain't found no guns. I was saying on my video here, I take videos, put them on YouTube. I was like, all these guys that go out and find a gun or multiple guns every time they go out, I was like, they must be living in a bad neighborhood. Yeah, that's what I see. Yeah. I wanted to pull something up like I say, it looks like it's been there another year. Yeah. I went up, I've magnet fished in the Kentucky River up by uh, Two Rivers Campground in Carrollton, Kentucky. And where a lot of barges go through there. And man, you'll pull up welding rods, big chunks of steel and everything. Big bolts. I'm surprised. As, I ain't been down here one time this year yet that I haven't seen corn laying around. I was down here, and like I said, uh, what day was that? It's three or four days ago. Look there. Two more bottle caps. <laughs> no trap. We have them all it up. And swallowed every bit. <laughs> yeah, my go-to bait is a white rooster tail. Mm -hmm. There's something. Every time I hit that one spot right out there somewhere, there's something. You can tell it hit it, and then it just lets it go. Here's that. I mean, or it's been down there so long it won't hardly stick to it. Well, do appreciate it. Yeah, I ain't never seen nobody else magnet fish up there. I mean, like I said, there's usually nobody here when I get here, but you, yeah, yeah. got to watch it through there though, where them two big steel cables run over there. Yeah. Yep. I wish I'd brought my hundred foot rope and got out there a little bit farther. <laughs> I'd say there's stuff between here and there. I know it drops off real fast. She's on my uh, camera just right here, right off this dock. When the, when the water is down, it's still like 15 to 20 foot just right here. Usually, what I can do when I fish here, I build up the corner and let it drift back. And I don't have more back there. It's down that long. Plus, there's a lot of boulders. You find one of the boulders, you can catch some trout. I know on my fish finder last year, right out there in the open, it was reading 50 foot deep. I was like, did you hear a couple years ago when they pulled those two bass out of here that was 14 and 17 pounds? 
Now he'll try it one. <laughs> Have a good day. I can't get this old pop can right here. Put that the water and see how old it is. that and then it was barely hanging on look at that stick water fishing line old miller light can don't want to take the stick home put it in the garbage but we'll take the fishing line at least Oh. Let me see what time it's getting to be. Ten fifty-five. Got a little bit before we have to go. We'll go ahead and put the line back on our hook. Tell you what, I ain't gonna waste my time wrapping that up right now. That string being wet, we'll take it home, lay it out in the sun, let it dry out, and then wrap it back up. I don't know if you all heard anything that guy was saying because where I got my mic hooked up to my phone, I think he had to be kind of close to me and he wasn't talking that loud anyway. But me, I'm a talker. But uh, let's see. While we got a little bit of time, we're going to continue to magnet fish. We'll go ahead and toss the GoPro back out. See what kind of other footage it can get. Hit play. I'm going to try to toss it out that way a minute because both my grappling hook and my magnet keeps getting hung on something and. Might just be a big old rock, but uh, we're going to toss this out in the water. Rock. No good. Redo. Yeah. See if we can't pull it across there and get it hung on whatever it's getting hung on and 
check video. I'm not sure where that's at. I'll definitely have to bring a fishing pole next time to do the camera so that way I can get a better judgment on if it's on bottom or not. Where's my, there it is. Alright. I'll be off camera for a moment. I'm going to go around this side of the dock, see what the magnet picks up. We'll be back. I'll be back on screen in just a moment. There we go. Feels like there's a little weight to it. Hold up. Hold up. Felt like we had something there for a moment. Let's see. Some more hooks. You know what? Let's see. We'll let it drop. Right there. Let it drag, let it drag. Ooh, bunch of grass. Okay, let's try this side. Let it go. Well, 
Most of this one kind of slow because we're going from shallow water to deep water. Glad that wind's calmed down. Alright, now we're going to go around the phone. Rock slide. All right, and we're back. Nothing. Well, I'll be gagging. You know. Well, it don't look like today's been very exciting. Besides, we did clean the lake up of a few junky old hooks and fishing line. Somebody wrote Sabrina Cole was here. Well, Sabrina Cole. Thanks for letting everybody know that you came and stood on this dock here at Big Creek Lake. Good. I hit the dock. <clears throat> well, just more light grass, whatever that is. We'll give it one more cast out the way we did. And if we don't get nothing, we'll bring the GoPro back in and head back to the house and try to check the memory card on that. And then get to editing the video. No. Uh -oh. Sounds like the wind's picking up, going that direction, which means it's going from the back of my phone. Yep, there it goes. Load it, load it, load it, load it. Well, nothing on. Look here, look here. Camera's down walking to me. Anyway, we didn't get nothing on magnet again. So, wind's starting to pick up again. Getting kind of shady. Wind's blowing good. So, uh, we're going to get off here. Until next time. Thanks for watching.